Among the churches of America, the sanctuary of Our Lady of Victory is, for many reasons, to be counted as one of the greatest. This sanctuary is truly a masterpiece in the nobility of its lines, in the splendor of its marbles, in its massive solidarity, and in its artistic finish. After celebrating Mass for over 50 years at the small St. Patrick's Church in Limestone Hill, now Lackawanna, New York, Father Baker at the age of 74 had a great vision. His dream was to build a magnificent shrine in honor of his patroness, Blessed Mother, under the name Our Lady of Victory. At a routine parish meeting, Father Baker shocked all in attendance as he calmly unveiled his plans to build a beautiful shrine to rival the majestic churches of Europe. Speaking before the astonished group, the humble priest outlined his desire for the finest materials and artists to come together for a true masterpiece. Dazzling all with his infectious vigor, construction began almost immediately. Father Baker's idea was supported by thousands of loyal donors happy to assist such a project. Nelson Baker's experience as a businessman before becoming a priest and his familiarity with fundraising gave birth to brilliant campaigns. One idea detailed an opportunity for contributors to purchase a $10 block of marble for the shrine. Their names would be remembered forever, written in a little book and placed under the statue of Our Lady of Victory on the main altar. The chief designer of the shrine was architect Emile Ulrich, a graduate of the world-renowned École des Beaux-Arts of Paris, who migrated to America in 1894 and opened an architectural firm in Cleveland, Ohio. It was Ulrich himself who personally inspected all of the artist's work, both in the United States and Europe in order to guarantee Father Baker's wish for the finest materials and craftsmanship. The Basilica is considered to be Emil Ulrich's pinnacle work. Father Baker puts in motion the plans for the world's biggest puzzle, with materials being prepared simultaneously in the United States and abroad by various architectural, artistic, and creative contributors, and to be pieced together in Lackawanna, New York. The outside glistening white marble was cut from mines in Georgia, covering the steel framework from Bethlehem Steel in Lackawanna. The majestic inside marble walls, floors, and statues hailed from Italy, and the rare red marble altar pillars from Spain. Planning the interior artwork of the shrine was the task of master artist Professor Gonipo Raji. Born and trained in Italy, Raji's handiwork is seen in the magnificent oil paintings throughout the shrine. Assisting Raji in the breathtaking paintings and murals was Polish native of Buffalo, Marian Zeznik. Buffalo born and educated Otto F. Andrele is responsible for the inspiring stained glass windows of which there are 134 in the shrine. Featured at the top of the nave, is Andrelay's depiction of the seven joyful episodes and the seven sorrowful episodes in the life of our Blessed Lady. Father Baker went to great lengths to make the shrine one of the most beautiful in America and an earthly expression of heaven. The Catholic Church is a church of sacramentality. Okay? It means that we see in created reality and material reality the divine shining through. Uh, beauty always does that. Uh, Father Baker was so concerned about making sure he had the most uh, beautiful, uh, the, the best materials, uh, the best artists. He knew that what they could do with their crafts and with their arts would speak to people for generations. I, th I think it is a classic idea that the exterior is a beacon in the city, it's a light on a hill, and the interior is really uh, a precursor to heaven. And so it's meant to lift you up, and it's meant to kind of dazzle, and also a sense of mystery. And it's a place you could sit for hours, and you can return to many times, and you'll always see something new.
The basilica cost nearly $4 million to build in 1926. Today, there is doubt that such a structure could be built. Um, I've asked that question of architects, how difficult would it be to, to rebuild this building? And they kind of scratch their head and roll their eyes and walk away. Yeah, $4 million in 1926. And it's funny because I have clients who want me to build buildings for them for $4 million. <laughs> they, um, probably they're not Father Baker though. The cost of it would be prohibitive. Finding the craftsmen to do it uh, the way it was done here with the quality of work, almost an impossibility these days. Many difficulties arose during the building of the shrine. But by Christmas of 1925, construction of Our Lady of Victory was completed and was consecrated on May 25, 1926. Within two months, a remarkable honor was paid to the shrine as it was officially designated the second minor basilica in the United States by Pope Pius XI. Father Baker's greatest dream had been realized just 10 years before his death in 1936 at the age of 92. Well, it seems to me that whether you're a Catholic or not, this is a great work of art. I like to think of a building and in this case, I would say uh, Father Baker's uh, shrine, Our Lady of Victory, is a great sermon that he wrote. It's a great sermon that lives on after his death and continues to speak to people today. Come and witness the beauty of Our Lady of Victory Basilica and National Shrine, located at 767 Ridge Road, Lackawanna, New York, 14218. Thank you. <laughs>